Odisha Chief Minister Naveen Patnayak on Wednesday launched the BSKY Naveen card in the state. All people living in villages, except regular government employees and income taxpayers, will get this benefit. Days after a woman was killed and buried near a playground in Rimal in Odisha's Deogar district, police have cracked the case and arrested four persons in this connection. Odisha vigilance officials on Wednesday arrested Pramod Kumar Behra, RI, Revenue Inspector, of JN Prasad Circle of Jagannath Prasad Tehsil in Ganjam district, along with Vidyadhar Pradhan, a private person, for demanding and accepting a bribe of Rs. 5,000 rupees from a complainant for demarcation of a plot recorded in the name of the latter's grandfather. Former Chairman Come Managing Director, CMD, of Nalko Tapan Chand joined Bhartiya Janta Party, BJP, in the presence of Party State President Manmohan Samal and other senior leaders here at BJP State Headquarters on Wednesday. Additional District Sessions Judge, Keonjhar on Wednesday awarded death sentence to five persons after convicting them in the sensational 2019 Ramchandra Behra murder case of Dhakotha village under Ghasipura Assembly Constituency of Keonjhar. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and the Indian Army have extended their full support to filmmaker Vikas Behel after the announcement of his upcoming period drama film Battle of Noshera. US President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump are leading in Super Tuesday wins in their respective parties' primaries for the 2024 presidential election. Employees in India are expected to get an average salary increase of 9.6% in 2024, similar to the actual increase in 2023, a new report said. Indian skipper Rohit Sharma admits that he is still puzzled by the term baseball despite praising England's valiant approach and aggressive mindset of play ahead of the fifth and final test match at HPC is starting. Australia's Josh Hazelwood and Nathan Leon have narrowed the gap with ace Indian pacer Jaspreet Bumrah in the latest ICC mains test player rankings following their exceptional performance in the opening game against New Zealand. Argentina under Tays manager Javier Mascherano has revealed that Lionel Messi is considering an invitation to participate in the Paris Olympics this summer. Mascherano said the Inter Miami star could be among the three permitted overage players in his squad if the Major League Soccer Club agrees to release him. Star Alu Arjun and his wife Sneha Reddy, whom he lovingly calls Cutie, have completed 13 years of marital bliss and the actor has spent a heartwarming note on the special occasion. Bollywood actress Kajol on Wednesday dropped a quirky picture with a bottle of wine, saying though she doesn't drink, she can get a good laugh. Taking to Instagram, Kajol, who enjoys Sola Dashamlav 10 million followers, shared a fun picture of herself, wherein she can be seen wearing a black blazer and a white formal shirt. The trailer of the upcoming streaming series Lutere was unveiled on Wednesday. The trailer shows a thrilling setup of a cargo ship being intercepted by Somali pirates. The series stars a talented ensemble including Rajat Kapoor, Vivek Gombar, Amruta Khanvilkar, and Amir Ali, among others. National Payments Corporation of India, NPCI, on Wednesday announced the signing of a multi year memorandum of understanding, MO, with the Indian Institute of Science, IISC, Bangalore, for conducting joint research on blockchain and artificial intelligence, AI, technology. Modi ka parivar seems to emerge as the new poll plank of Bhartiya Janta Party, BJP, months ahead of the parliamentary elections 2024. This comes on back of Lalu Yadav's slanderous attack on Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the latter giving a new political spin to it, rather than engaging in bitter exchange of bars. A Trinamool Congress delegation, which met the full bench of the Election Commission of India, ECI, here on Monday, has requested the poll panel to hold Lok Sabha elections for the Bayalis parliamentary constituencies in the state in a single phase. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris has urged Israel to significantly increase the flow of aid to Gaza by opening new border crossings and not imposing any unnecessary restrictions. A reshuffle of the cabinet is on the cards in Nepal on Monday with the Communist Party of Nepal, Maoist Center, severing its alliance with its coalition partner Nepali Congress. The chasm has been reportedly widening between the two biggest parties in the Himalayan Kingdom over the claim for chairmanship of the National Assembly. The government's push towards digitalization and technology adoption has catalyzed innovation within the insertech industry, which bodes well for bolstering the growth prospects of the industry, Ankit Agrawal, founder and CEO, Insurance Deco, has stressed. India's inform opener Yashasvi Jaiswal has been nominated for the ICC Mains Player of the Month Award for February 2024 alongside New Zealand's Kane Williamson and Sri Lanka's Pathum Nisanka. Pavan Negi's masterclass tone helped Vip Uttar Pradesh beat Mumbai champions by six wickets in the summit clash of the Indian Veteran Premier League, IVPL, here at Shaheed Vijay Singh Pathik Sports Complex on Sunday. 
Olympic and world champion Armand Duplantis made a successful defense of his pole vault title at the World Athletics Indoor Championships, clearing a world-leading 6.05 M. Sunrisers Hyderabad, SRH, have appointed Pat Cummins as the captain of the side ahead of the 2024 Indian Premier League IPL season, said the franchise through its social media accounts on Monday. Two stunning goals by Phil Gordon helped champions Manchester City come back from a goal deficit to hand arch-rivals Manchester United a 3-1 defeat in the Premier League at the Etihad Stadium on Sunday. It was 19 years ago, when Tamanna Bhatia's debut film Chan Sa Roshan Chehra was released in 2005. However, for the actress, it is just the beginning dot taking to Instagram stories, Tamanna on Monday reshared posts from her fans, congratulating her for completing Unni's years in the industry. She thanked all her fans and followers. Actress Chitranada Singh has set the Monday mood right by hitting the gym early in the morning. Taking to Instagram stories, Chitranada shared a boomerang video of herself from the gym. Actress Neemrit Kaur was set to star in the upcoming film Love Sex or Dhokha 2 directed by ace filmmaker Divakar Banerjee. However, it is learnt that she passed the role owing to the explicit scenes in the film. Kampur ka Tarana Vaibhav Gupta has lifted the coveted trophy of the singing reality show Indian Idol 14. The trophy came with a check of 25 rupee lakh and a hot and techy Breza card. IPO bound Ullu, an over-the-top OTT platform that offers movies and series targeted at adults, has found itself under the scrutiny of the National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, NCPCR, over providing explicit content on its app. <laughs>